Hey guys, it's David here, Sheepdog Services. Uh, kind of sick today, so if I sound a little bit different, that's what it is. Today I want to talk about the uh, how to charge, when to charge, and what to charge. And it's mainly going to pertain to this time of the year for for us people in the South that uh, that you got weeds popping up mostly that more than you do grass. Most of the grass is still dormant. Uh, but you have your clover is popping up, dandelion. I got all kinds of weeds just popping up right now. But, uh, and if y'all hear anything else, I got my, my boy back there right now. So I ain't, if y'all hear anything screaming, I ain't kidnapped the kid or anything. He's, he's riding shotgun today. Anyway, um, like I was saying, you got a bunch of weeds that are popping up this time of year. So how do you charge for it? If the customer wants you to come and cut it, do you, uh, do you charge a full price for the, that you normally would on that lawn, even though you're not really cutting that whole lawn, it's not taking you but maybe half the time or even even a quarter of the time to get it done. In my personal opinion, absolutely not. I think that's I think it's wrong. Uh, morally, I don't I don't think I can charge somebody a full price whenever I'm not doing the full service. Um, now you should know your numbers so that you're profitable but that doesn't mean you need to go out there and stick it to somebody just because they need some weeds cut. Now, all, by all means, if they want you to go ahead and edge all the flower beds, edge all the, all the hard surfaces, and you got weeds in the middle of the yard, and you're out there with the lawnmower, hey, charge what you need to charge to get, get paid, you know, to, get, uh, to make a profit off of it. Don't, don't go work for free now. And, uh, you know, personally, I just don't think that uh, I could charge somebody a full price for that. All right, second, how do you how do you collect your collect your payment? Do you collect like you normally do at the end of the month? Are you uh, bi-weekly or how do, how do you do it at, at time of service? Here, me starting off, I'm really small. I'm part time. I do at time of service unless me and the customers came to an agreement and it's easier for them to do a net 30. Now, I use Yardbook, so it's easy to keep up with that stuff. But if you're not using some kind of software to, to do that, you may want to put everybody on the exact same same schedule so that you don't forget to, who you collected from and who you haven't. But, you know, I, I normally just go right into Yardbook. I click on my customer and click on the invoices and send it out <laughs> ah, excuse me told you I was wasn't feeling good today so my question to y'all is do y'all charge the full price do y'all collect funds a different way do y'all do y'all uh, do y'all do it differently or do y'all stick to the to the way you do it all year long so leave it in the comments below I know this ain't a very long video so um, I just want to stick, put something out there. I had something on my mind. You know, I saw some, saw some people out just weed eating. So I, you know, got to thinking. Anyway, uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And y'all take care. All right.